Hello, hello, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than the Crowd? I am your game show host, and today we will be seeing a man with a desire to prove himself against a crowd that believes in strength in numbers. Let's get this game going! Though our music might be royalty free, I can't say the same for our contestants tonight. Let's have a big round of applause for everyone! Come out, come, come. Join us, people. Yeah. Oh, yeah! And to state the obvious, the fact that they're all in wheelchairs is in no way a reflection of their intelligence. Stephen Hawking was a pretty smart guy, you know. And on top of that, these guys can actually speak. How about we hear something from these folks? How are you, fellas? Would you ever guess the English language is only 1,400 years old? Beautiful. Anyway, thank you all for being here. Intelligence is a hard thing to quantify. Some measure intelligence as the ability to change. But frankly, I don't feel very smart when I shit myself and I'm forced to change. A generally accepted measurement would be the IQ. But exactly what is IQ? And where did it come from? Let us watch this informative video that explains it all. The man is a pattern-seeking creature, a quality to which we partially must give credit to as the reason why we are here today, sucking on the tit of civilization. And what a ride it has been since the start. From the aristocrats stepping on the face of the working class to the owners stopping the enslaved, following the elite stepping on the proletariat, and too often, the us kicking ourselves. But at some point in the 1800s, as classes continued to divide and folk began to more or less stick within their own group, we made peace with our natural violent tendencies and everyone blended within their respected peers, all in their own social class determined by origin, quietly, happily sated. And that won't do. People demand further group specification. So a bunch of unbiased, intelligent people came together and crafted something that measures what they call intelligence. And out of it comes the alluring IQ. And suddenly we have a new dimension with which to measure people. From the classic block puzzle to the current WAIS diagnostic test, these methods of measuring that hopefully three-digit number will find you a place where you'll feel home. Soon we will enter a new era of human history, and we can't wait for the better and brighter future where intelligence, not brute force, is the shaping factor. And here's how. With phrenology long obsolete, low IQ Egyptians will finally be re-slaved to build more pyramids. The eugenics program for highly intellectual individuals. School class structures determined by one's intelligence. That is the story of IQ so far. Now just about anyone with 20 minutes to spare can abandon the grueling task of proving their worth by simply pointing at a paper certificate and saying, see, I could be more, but I just choose not to. Tonight, your sexuality, race, gender, or environment won't matter. Only thing you should be concerned with is, should you be one, or should you be many? And we will find that answer with the question, are you smarter than the crowd? All right, all right, let's get on with the game. Get to your places. Oh my, it seems like we forgot a chair for you. How about this? We give you two options, a wheelchair or a throne. Pick whatever you feel suits you better. The throne, huh? Wise choice, my friend. Make yourself comfortable then, because we're ready to start. We'll warm you all up with this classic block puzzle. Simply fit the right shape into the right hole under the time limit. You got 30 seconds. Let's go! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Come 
Come on now, you got this. Can you get at least one? Now don't tell me you can't get one. That's embarrassing. I thought it didn't have to be said, but this game is for ages six and up. Well, never mind that. You're probably tired from a long day of work. Let's get into the meat of this thing, finally. Everyone on your monitors, please, and boot up your brains. You have three minutes to complete each segment. You cannot take back an answer, so be careful and be mindful of time at all times. And we will start with the jigsaw puzzle. Recreate the given image on a three by three grid. Get set. Go! Remember, no cheating. We have your IP. I'm sensing a crowd victory. The stage is heating up from all this display of brain power. The wheelchairs were a sign of their subpar intelligence after all. I'm feeling our team of one is getting ahead. Who is leading? Who can tell? And the first three minutes are up. Hope you got all your answers in. Let's continue with the memory grid. You will be shown a grid, and some of the squares will be highlighted. Click the highlighted squares after they fade out to proceed. Get as far as your memory can carry you. Get ready. Go! If you feel like you're not performing well, check your CO2 concentrations in your room. Over 900 ppm will affect your cognitive function.
Did you know that on average, women weigh less than men because their brains are that much smaller? Did you know that early childhood exposure to fluoride may lead to difficulties in cognitive functions? Did you know that me talking in the background can be distracting? Do you feel overwhelmed with thoughts or a strange desire to assassinate a public figure? A nice big glass of fluoridated tap water ought to set you straight. Do you feel overwhelmed with thoughts or a strange desire to assassinate a public figure? A nice big glass of fluoridated tap water ought to set you straight. And now for our last segment, the logic pattern. Simply select the piece that logically fits within the pattern given to you. Ready? Go! Don't worry if you score low. With new technological advances, the minimum IQ required to destroy the world is dropping by the minute.
And the test is over. Please gather around the stage, gentlemen. It's time to reveal the score. You put your souls to the test, surrendered yourself to the measuring scale. But some souls are just better than others. However, souls together can achieve greater things than any of them could alone. It's a tricky thing, this average. It can either pull you down or elevate you. But one thing is for sure, you always want to win. So, let's see who gets their wish made on tonight's are you smarter than the crowd? Yes, oh, yeah. you are smarter than the crowd. He's smarter than all of you. Congratulations. And to the crowd, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll put you in a fun camp that'll help you concentrate a little more on test. You'll get a tattoo of your IQ score when you get there to let people know how much help you need. On to the trains then, fellas. Load them up. Load them up. Wait, children. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, yeah. idiots. Wait to them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, morons. Bye-bye, stupids. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Just let you down. See you next week and have a great day. Woo!